What's up everybody? Today we're talking about Curry Verde from La Pimentrie. Curry Verde from La Pimentrie. Yeah, uh, first for us on the channel. Yeah, uh, excited to try it out. Yeah, definitely. New brands always good. Uh, this was on season twenty-one. Yep. Of hot ones. Mm -hmm. uh, sauce number two. So not expecting it to be terribly hot. Right. But the list of ingredients is quite impressive to me. I think it's going to be delicious. Yeah. Uh, so speaking of ingredients, guys. Uh, it, the ingredient list on this one is selected hot peppers, which incre which includes green long peppers, Hungarian peppers, green habanero, Thai peppers, and green ghost peppers. Oy. Uh And then we've got zucchini, coconut milk, cider vinegar, eggplants, shallots, maple syrup, Lime juice, coconut, canola oil, cane sugar, green onions. I don't even know how to say it. Galongal. Galongal. Mm -hmm. Lemongrass, salt, spices, kefir, lime zest, mm -hmm. and garlic and turmeric. Whew! The galongal is like a yeah, I don't know what that it's is. like a Chinese ginger. Okay. Uh, a lot of places use it. You just never hear about it. Gotcha. Um, and kefir, lime zest. It's some kind of a lime plant that you can buy the actual leaves from the lime plant that have flavor. Okay. So I think it's actually like kefir lime leaves. Hmm. Ah. But cool. Well, uh, these guys are out of Montreal. Is that right? So Montreal, yeah. Yeah. New new Canadian sauce. Obviously French Canadian. Yeah, because uh, if you go to their website, everything's in French. I'm like, I can't. <laughs> like, I can, I can read Spanish pretty good. I don't know what this is, but, but and it looks like they have quite a few other sauces too. Yeah, it looks like they do. They all sound pretty tasty. Uh, so maybe we can get some more Canada love. Yeah. Um, now I'm trying to think what's what's been our big handful of Canadian companies. Heartbeat, obviously. Heartbeat, uh, that's a big one. Pepper North. We haven't done one from them in a while. Pepper but, North's been a while, yeah. But that's yeah. awesome sauces. Uh, I feel like there's been? another one or two. I don't know. Uh, All right. Well, let's get into this one. Heartbeat's the big dog. Yeah, Thunder Bay. Wow, that smells great. Okay. Yeah. Wow, it has amazing color. And really some like it. good chunks and texture to it. Have we had a sauce with coconut? I can't remember. I'm sure we have, but um, it's definitely not very common. All right. Cheers. Holy shit. Oh my god. That is so good. Um, Talk about a flavor explosion. It's got like amazing curry flavor up front. I literally, I think I just tasted every ingredient. Yeah. Amazing curry flavor <laughs> up front. And then like, I feel like that, I, I kind of get like some, that, that lime juice and coconut coming through. Like a little bit citrusy. I got all of fruity. it. Lemongrass, um, mongol. All that shit's coming through. Wow. The Thai, the ghost. That is so... All right. I think the biggest disappointment about this sauce right here is that it comes in a four-ounce bottle because I just want this to be like the curry sauce in my dish. Yeah. But there's not enough of this to go around. Right. <laughs> um, if I and knew, it does have a little bit If I knew it was going to be that flavorful, I would have bought two bottles for us. But uh, man, that is that is tasty. Um, it's just everything about it. Killer, texture, killer texture like you get texture from all the. Yeah, there's some good chunks in there. Like, 
Here's. Wow. That is so good. Um, mind blown. Yep. I don't know what to say. That is. Except now I just want to try all their I sauces. Know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm like, uh, if they're all that good, wow. I, no wonder you got on hot ones. Yeah. Uh, I really want to just like cook up some some rice and like some chicken and like dump this on. Even have, just a bowl. Have, even have, just like, a bowl of rice. Yeah. Just that, throw that in there and like, all right. But cool. holy mackerel, it's uh, making me crave some some Thai food. That is so good. Yeah. Wow. Uh, curry verde, people. Um, if you haven't tried it, you need to get yourself a bottle of this. Yeah. Because it's it's very tasty and it's not crazy hot. Um, although good, it's it's. I would almost call this more like a three out of ten than a two out of ten. Huh? I might go. I might go four. Oh. I feel like the heat lingers. It's there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, it's got some good heat, um, killer flavor, killer what it, texture. What it really has is balance. Yes. I mean, I I wonder how many times they made this sauce and you're like, oh, oh let's tweet this, let's tweet this. You know, like, with someone's someone's playing scientists and really figured this out. With this many ingredients, yeah, I bet you there there had it, this been I don't know because normally you see this many ingredients and you're like, okay, like you just you got overboard and. That's whatever, but <laughs> like this one, it actually, yes, works. um, yeah, you definitely know there's twenty or thirty uh, revisions of this sauce. I would sure think, yeah. Um, but man, that is tasty. They nailed it. Can't wait to try some more. Um, yeah, I don't know. What else? You got any like crazy culinary ideas for this besides just? Uh, Rice. <laughs> I honestly think this would be really good on shrimp. Oh, okay. Or maybe even more than just that. Like seafood wise, I could see this working with any kind of like seafood curry. Dishes. Gotcha. I could see that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was trying to think of anything uh, clever to do with this, but. I think you're traditional. I, I don't think you need to get clever because it's just such a good option for what it is. Yeah, yeah, literally um, like chicken and rice, money. Yeah. Uh, one thing that kind of stands out, um, man, there used to be, I, I don't think it's still there. At No Coast, there's like a coconut curry, coconut curry right. lobster roll, which yes. is not on the menu anymore. Correct. But I feel like some of this with that, like be good on lobster. Yeah. Yeah, the seafood thing, like shellfish, I feel like it'd be really good with anything. But scallops. That su that sushi roll, uh, with some of that in there. Yeah. Um or you know, some of that mixed in with that. Maybe use this instead of the curry sauce that was in there to yeah. like bring yeah. the heat level up. Yeah. Um I don't know. I know it's not on the menu. Can they still make that? They still got all the stuff. Well, no. Just they, not the curry sauce? They don't have the lobster. Uh, okay. Gotcha. So, bummer. But, but. All right. Well, um, I don't know. You got anything else to add on this one? We really like your product, and we'd li love to eat more of it. So, yeah. You want to send some sauces our way? Cool. If not, probably going to buy more just because <laughs> of how good this one was. Yeah. So, uh yeah let us know too uh if you do want to hook us up with something we know that shipping can be kind of expensive from canada down here so uh, we're happy to pay for shipping. yeah we'll, we'll pay for some shipping for sure um but and yeah killer sauce guys um and if you guys have tried this sauce uh i don't know why we slept on it for so long but if you guys have tried it please comment down below let us know what you're putting this on uh we're always looking for ideas and thanks for checking this one out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Till next time, keep up the heat.